12 money making ideas for kids. What's the right age to start a business these days? 25? 30? 40? What if I told you that you can become a CEO before you even get your driver's license? We're talking about young mavericks with real businesses. Like 10 year old Ryan Kelly, one of the youngest contestants to appear on Shark Tank, who has his own dog treat business called Ryan's Barkery. There's also Mikaela Ulmer, who took the classic lemonade stand to the next level when she founded B Sweet Lemonade at just 11 years old. These kids are living proof that in the business world, age ain't nothing but a number. So if you're a kid with an entrepreneurial spirit and you're looking to make your own money, here are 12 simple ways to do just that. But before we get into all that jazz, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so that you'll always be the first to see our new videos. Number 12. Do household chores. Here's a sneaky way to earn some pocket money. Kids are expected to help around the house, right? Well, this is also the perfect chance to teach them a valuable lesson. Money is something that has to be earned. Ask your parents nicely if they're willing to pay you an allowance for folding the laundry or dusting the furniture. I'm sure they'll take you up on that offer, since you're not only working hard for your money, you're also helping take a load off mom and dad's shoulders when it comes to the long list of never ending household chores. Number 11. Mow lawns. Before offering this type of service, make sure you can handle a lawnmower on your own. Ask around your neighborhood if anyone wants their lawn spruced up for a small fee. Just don't go all willy nilly with the mower right away. It's not as simple as running the grass cutter however and wherever you want. You first have to ask how they prefer their lawns to be clipped. Find out which areas need mowing and which should be strictly avoided. Number 10. Rake leaves. Besides mowing lawns, another yard cleaning service you can offer is raking leaves. Most people hate doing this themselves, so it's your perfect opportunity to swoop in. Plus, it often goes hand in hand with mowing, so consider selling your services in a bundle. You can get a lot more cash if you offer to rake up and remove the leaves before you mow the lawn. Number 9. Run a lemonade stand. You can definitely count on the classics, but you can also spruce them up a little. Sure, ice cold lemonade is great in the summer, but switch it to hot chocolate when autumn and winter roll around. Set reasonable prices and be sure to keep your money in a secure place like a lockbox or money belt. Be careful where you set up your lemonade stand, too. Don't put it on private property, or else you could be punished for trespassing. Don't sell in places where you have to pay for a business permit either. Number 8. Sell baked goods. Selling baked goods like cookies and cupcakes is a great start, but always ask your parents for help in the kitchen to avoid injuries and accidents. You might sell cookies individually or bundle them for a lower price. You can even pair them with your lemonade or hot cocoa. Give your business a professional look while attracting more customers by putting your baked goods in colorful and cute packages. A product's packaging is often just as important as what's inside. Number 7. Have a garage sale. Convert books, toys, clothes, or other items you no longer use into money instead of wastefully throwing them away. Since you probably don't know the original price of each item, ask your parents if they can remember how much they gave for it. You can then set honest prices depending on overall condition. Advertise first before you open your yard sale. Give away flyers and stick posters up around your neighborhood, letting people in on all the details. Number 6. Sell your stuff to thrift stores. If you're not confident enough in your negotiating and selling skills, head to your nearest consignment store or thrift shop and let them act on your behalf. Of course, you need to be accompanied by your parents or an adult when you go to these places. The items you want to sell must be in good condition. Put yourself in the customer's shoes. Would you buy secondhand clothes with stains, holes, or missing buttons? Quality is far more important than quantity. Number 5. Sell homemade crafts. Do you have a knack for crafts? Then turn your creative hobby into a profitable business. Make and sell products like beaded jewelry, wind chimes from old keys, bookmarks, and garden decorations, to name a few. Take advantage of the occasion as well. 
You can create colorful paper flowers and greeting cards around Valentine's Day, for instance. The possibilities are endless in this type of business as long as you've got your unlimited supply of imagination. Number four, start your own tutoring services. Do you excel in a particular subject like math or foreign languages? Are you really good at a musical instrument? Use this to your advantage by teaching other kids in exchange for a fee. Just make sure you can balance school and work. Plus, you've got to get consent from their parents before you start tutoring someone. You also need to get approval from your parents so that they know what you're up to. Your safety and welfare are their number one priority. Number three, upload and edit pictures for others. Whether you're doing it for someone who simply doesn't know how, or perhaps they're a busy adult without the time to spare, you can upload pictures saved in their camera to their laptop as a backup. You can also scan old photographs onto their computer to preserve them. If they want their pictures edited or photoshopped and you know how to do it, go ahead and offer your services. Take the burden off their shoulders by doing simple yet time-consuming tasks that only require basic computer skills. Number two, set up a Facebook profile for people. Believe it or not, there are millions of people out there who still don't use this popular social networking site. According to a 2018 Pew Research Center survey, only 68% of U.S. adults are Facebook users, which means the remaining 32% don't have an account. Ask your parents, friends, and classmates if they know someone who's interested in joining Facebook but don't have the time or knowledge to set it up. Tell them you're willing to do it for a reasonable price. The same goes for other social media platforms as well. Number one, create mobile games. No coding experience? No problem. It's now possible to create mobile apps or games even if you don't have any computer programming knowledge. Game builder websites such as Stencil, Andromo, and Quick App Ninja can help you with their user-friendly software. Whether you consider yourself a flat-out gamer or you just like to play them from time to time, figure out which aspects of your favorite games don't appeal to you. Once you know what they lack, you can create even better versions of those games. So, do any of these ideas inspire you to start your own business? Great! But before you hit the market by storm, keep in mind the following do's and don'ts. Do inform your parents and ask their permission first. Don't set unfair rates. Be reasonable with your pricing. Do advertise your products and services. Don't work with strangers. Do business with people you and your family know and trust. Don't be rude or impolite to your customers. Always smile and say thank you, even if they didn't buy anything. Do impress your customers with your honesty and diligence. Don't agree to do a job you cannot do. Know your own skills and limits. Do ask for help from your friends or parents when necessary. Don't go to dangerous neighborhoods or places to offer your products and services. You should be accompanied by an adult at all times. Do ask for your school's permission if you're planning to sell there. Don't do anything that will endanger or harm yourself or others. Do save your hard-earned money. And last but certainly not least, remember that you're still a kid. Don't forget to enjoy your childhood to the fullest. It's amazing that some kids these days are already seriously thinking about their future even at their young age. Starting a business, even if it's a simple lemonade stand, teaches children how to be responsible and independent. They can also develop their social and problem-solving skills when they interact with customers. Money-making aside, these kids are gaining such important skills and valuable experience that will help them in their adult life. Way to go! Do you know any other kid-friendly business ideas? Do you think children should be dabbling in entrepreneurship? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. If you like this video, then hit that thumbs up button and share it with all your friends and family. See you next time on The Bright Side of Life.